Aquaman riding a seahorse is one of the most absurd images from the comics. And one of the challenges going into this was how do you get past the sort of joke of Aquaman riding the seahorse? What James wanted to do was embrace it. Let's not pretend that these aren't the iconic images of Aquaman. Let's make them cool and make them awesome. Going into it, I wanted different animals to differentiate the two separate kingdoms. With the Zebelians, they have taken to seahorses. And the king rides in on a beautiful, majestic sea dragon. They do feel like ancient knights, but with a sort of fantasy science fiction twist to it. Meanwhile, the Atlanteans have domesticated and tamed all the really dangerous sharks. Willem gets to ride this giant black hammerhead shark with some really spectacular armor on it. It was very important that the animals would in some way have personalities that tied in with the characters that would write them. And that's definitely the reason why King Arm's animal is an ancient tylosaur. Orm, I think he gets the coolest one. He's riding this armored tylosaur that just looks so badass. <laughs> For Atlantis to rise again. Your half brother, King Orm, is about to declare war upon the surface world. We must stop him. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. His power is the only thing that can be done with the world's power. You are not going to win this. A war is coming to the surface, whether you like it or not. You know I can't let that happen. Aquaman. This is bad.